Hey, good afternoon. Um, it is a cold January here in Minnesota. I have a quick tip. Um, this is something that uh, I want to add to our daily, daily series. Um, I was talking to someone the other day, and uh, it was a small business owner. He had uh, he had a bunch of Twitter accounts, yeah, or social media accounts. One was a Twitter account, and some other things. Hey, nice. Thanks for stopping by, Carrie. Uh, tell us where you're from if you guys are brand new. Uh, let us know. Let us hear where you're all coming from. Um, but anyway, so I'm talking to this business owner and he goes, you know, I hired someone to do my social media and, uh, you know, he goes, it's not that they don't do a good job, but he goes, it's not my voice. And it really made me think, <laughs> it's Blaine again. Hey, how are ya? Um, and also the gay vegans joined. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so today is uh, another tip. Uh, we're just talking about uh, when you hire people to do your stuff. Um, you know, there's this there's this gap sometimes between when you have uh, have a uh, uh, you know, your voice and someone else's, and, and how do you cross that bridge? Um, you know, uh, the problem that this business owner had was that uh, he wasn't unhappy with it, but it just wasn't, he wasn't really excited about it. And you want your social media to be exciting. So why are we doing this, uh, hiring people that aren't doing a great job for us? Um, and if you're a blogger or an influencer, understand that what you need to do is um, is do the best you can, but you can't be somebody else. So make sure that when we're talking to people, you know, potential customers or sponsors, that you that they understand that and you understand that and communicate that with them. So go and uh, yeah, you can see all the snow on the trees and that cool looking. <laughs> um, so what you want to do, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, one way that we approach that at uh, dan330.com is that we work as ambassadors. So we say, hey, we're not going to speak with your voice. We're not going to manage your accounts, but we'll go out there. We'll live stream for you. Um, here's a quick question coming in. Do I think Facebook boosted posts are worthwhile? Yes, I do. Uh, Carrie, if you reach out to me personally, I have a great story for you, but I'm not going to share it publicly. Uh, they work really, really well um, if you do them right. But if you don't do them right, they're awful. So here's here's that thing again. So if you're looking for you know your reach, if you're the influencer, make sure that you're out there. Un make sure that the brands understand that, hey, you can, you can endorse their products, you can talk about them, but it's going to be your voice not theirs it just doesn't work it does not authentic it's not the right way to do it so um that's the plan uh and then i just want to touch on the facebook thing because that's interesting with the promoted posts i don't think there's any problem doing a promoted post uh in fact there's uh, i'm running a promoted post for me personally um for a summit and i'm not gonna tell you exactly well i will it's a periscope summit this weekend um i'm trying to go i've almost got everything lined up uh so i can go to periscope summit if it works i'll be there and you guys can see an awful lot of that on here if not um then i'm actually gonna be buying some twitter and facebook ads uh just saying hello and introducing myself to the community that's there so um, you know there are ways that you can buy you know promoted social uh, and be effective and authentic so just make sure that when you're out there you're checking this stuff out um, thanks for watching uh, all of these are on dan 330com slash live I'm a couple days behind getting the post written uh, I did just hire someone to transcribe all this video so um, let's uh, you'll, you'll get all of the, the the text from these on the blog soon too yeah go Seahawks yeah, thank you so much um, that was a painful game let me show you uh, you know there's actually a, a video going around speaking of the Seahawks and Vikings uh, some kids who were in high I think they're young kids young adults they uh, they went out there and shoveled a bunch of of uh, 32 yard hat you know on the hash marks areas on football fields and went around showing how easy it was to kick a field goal at that distance but uh, of course that one's crazy I'm sorry to all my Vikings fans out there but yeah, that's life. I mean, you're a Vikings fan. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Check it out, Dan330.